know it's been a little while since I posted anything on YouTube. I have some projects that I completed and I did plenty of video, I just need to spend the time to edit it. So I figure in the meantime I'd show you my mobile woodworking shop. I've done a lot of work to it since the last time I posted anything about it. Put this little side door in for when I got to come in and out rather than opening the back. And I got my best friend Dylan with me. I'm working on a yacht right now and I'm parked in the marina down at Pier 66. I've got a generator right here in case I need it. But for the most part, um, I'm solar powered. I have a couple panels right up there on the roof and I'll show you the setup inside in a minute. I also have shore power. I need to plug in. This is the exhaust for my air conditioning. And I built this door on the back. It gives me a little extra shade. It's like a like an awning when it lifts up. So I basically got everything I need in here. Right now I'm running off the grid. I put a couple fans in. Keeps it nice and cool. Got my Fez tool table. Got my table saw. And this slides out off the wall. I have a little pin here. Pull that out and it's on it's on slides so I could slide it out if I needed to make some wider rips. Got all my little tool cubbies, power strip. Right in here I have my my office, some a little file cabinet and then also this lifts up and I have my my computer in here. A little mobile printer everything I need to do design work, print out invoices, all that good stuff, and keep track of my jobs. The AC air conditioning is buried back behind that thing. I just brought this with me today because I was moving a bunch of cabinets out on the docks to this, this boat I'm working on. Ladder racks up out of the way. I have eight foot ceilings in here. I insulated them a little bit. I'm going to put some door skin over that too, um, should help, help a little bit. I've also got my Hitachi compound miter saw, same thing, I put a pin in it and it, it slides out. That way it's not taking up too much space in my aisle here. Got a little compressor, I built a little loft up top. For lumber storage, it's about 12 feet, 12 feet deep. Um, I put sheets of plywood up there, lumber up there. Got all my Fez tool stuff. One of the most important things in here is my little, my little mini fridge. Cold Red Bull and water. And. Uh, you know, I've seen some guys, uh, I, I forget the one guy's name, but he's got a, a mobile wood shop and it seemed like he planned everything out where everything was going to go and, and built it all and my mind just doesn't work like that. So I, I kind of had some ideas of what I wanted to do and basically it's just been a work in progress. I've been adding to it a little bit at a time, figuring out where the best places are for things. Have a little wire feed welder down there. Spare tire, that's important. Here's my electrical setup. Got shore power coming in from outside and it's also hardwired to the generator if I need it. The generator's all insulated in this big box right here and I showed you the vents are on the outside. 
and it's really not that bad if it's running. The only time I got to turn it on is if it's raining all day and the solar panels aren't getting enough power. Or um, I guess that's it if I was working at night. And for the most part, all I have to do is turn it on for about an hour and it puts a, a full charge on my batteries. I have four deep cycle gel batteries. Magnesine inverter, it's good for a six kilowatt peak which is more than enough to power everything in here. This is my little controller. It shows that I'm pulling eight amps right now, but that's at 24 volts. It's a 24 volt system. So it's only pulling a couple amps right now with the fans running and the refrigerator going. This is the charge controller that comes down from the solar panels. I was going to have somebody else do all this stuff for me, but I didn't feel like waiting and read every single page of all the manuals that came with it and, and set it all up. And I, I guess I did it right because it's all been working great for me. Some toolboxes in the front. I've also got a little, little skylight, let some heat out. And what's cool about working on boats with all this is I don't have to run back and forth to my shop. I have basically everything I need right here in my in my mobile wood shop. Thanks for watching.